Uh, here we have ourselves a uh, 160 watt uh, solar panel announcing itself as a 180 watt panel. But what we want to do is run a simple test on it. We want to measure its output and perhaps uh, see how much current uh, we can get from it and uh, how fast this guy can charge my 100, uh, my 50 uh, ampere hour battery bank. And uh, we're using this uh, digital multimeter here. Uh, we can dial it to the current uh, reading, which uh, is indicated by the knob being uh, placed here where you have this, uh, you know, 10 here uh, written in the white ink. And you have the black probe of the digital multimeter uh, placed in the comb or uh, port. And uh, you have the red probe here. And this meter can measure a maximum of uh, 10 arms. And uh, we don't expect to get more than 10 arms from the uh, solar panel. So this is uh, pretty good. It gets uh, the job done. So having the uh, meter properly uh, you know, set up for the current uh, measuring or for measuring the panel output, that we consider the two connections from the solar panel. We have this uh, XT60 connector. We have this XT60 connector and here is the positive, here is the negative. So the negative connection from the digital multimeter comes here. Uh, sorry, the uh, positive connection from the digital multimeter comes to the positive on the uh, connection from the solar panel and negative to negative. So what we're doing basically is our setting, uh, uh, is wearing this connection in such a way that the current from the panel can flow through the digital multimeter so that the digital multimeter is able to uh, measure it and perhaps uh, give us the precise uh, output we can get from this uh, solar panel. Uh, we also want to consider a situation where we have a little shading on the panel. How much can that affect its uh, output? So let's move on to do the test. We have the uh, positive probe on the positive connection from uh, the solar panel. And we have the negative uh, probe on the negative connection. So we're getting uh, 5.4 amps from the solar panel. And uh, we move on to cast a little shade on the panel and see what happens. So we cast a little shade and the output is gone down to 3.5, 3.4 uh, amps. So this uh, tells you what happens in a situation where you have your uh, panel uh, positioned somewhere where uh, maybe a building or a tree can cast a shade on the panel. So uh, it uh, reduces the output of the panel uh, significantly. So uh, the next thing we do is perhaps our uh, uh, readjust the position of our panel and see if that makes any difference. So here, this is the direction of the sun. This is this is the uh, the direction of the sun. So what we will do is uh, raise the panel to about uh, 30, 35 degree angle so that it, uh, uh, the sun uh, can uh, project its uh, light on the panel properly and see if that makes any difference. So let's do that now. So we uh, raise the panel and now we have about uh, 35 or uh, 30, 35 degree angle. So the output is gone up to 7.2 uh, arms. So this is pretty good. When you want to harness, uh, when you want to harness your panel uh, output or your panel uh, 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 capability, that you want to have the panel properly positioned. But you know the sun is always moving around, so you want to consider the position where if you have your panel, you can harness as much as much sunshine as possible to get your battery charged. And the recommended uh, number of hours for charging a battery is five hours of uh, peak sun. Uh, is five hours or five hours of peak sunlight. So if you perhaps uh, can get uh, up to five hours uh, daily. Uh, you should be able to get your battery charged in those uh, five hours. So what you can do is select a panel that can get your battery charged uh, in those hours of uh, peak uh, sunlight. So uh, I think uh, with this, you'll be able to measure your panel output 
and also perhaps uh, consider the positioning of your panel so you can harness its output properly and thanks for watching if you want to see more videos like this uh, subscribe to the channel and keep the video notification bell uh, turned on uh,